All right, quadratic formula A, B, C. This is in standard form. We're going to look for our roots. Remember, you want your roots, your zero, your intercepts, your solutions. You always let Y equal zero, and then you solve for X. Okay, the whole point is a quadratic formula. So if I set this up, B is 6, plus or minus B squared, so 6 squared minus 4, A is 8, C is positive 2, big fraction bar. Some of you, sometimes students will only leave the fraction bar under the radical. It's everything. And then 2, A, 8 is 8. Okay, if I type this into the calculator, already knowing I'm going to get rejected, fraction minus 6 plus radical 6 squared minus 4, 8, 2, 2, 8, right? Okay, I hit equal and I get math error. And so if you're really confident in your skills, it's probably because you have a negative radical. It's not necessarily that you did anything wrong. Okay, so that tells you you have to solve it by hand. So that means, yeah, so let's solve it by hand here. So then x is equal to negative 6, negative 6, plus or minus 6 squared is 36. This is all one product. So you need to take what's negative 4 times 8 times 2. And it's 64, right? 4 times 8 times 2 is 64. So it's going to be negative 64 because I have a negative, a positive, and a positive. That's an odd number of negatives, so negative. And so that's where you guys can see your negative is coming from. 16 minus 6 plus or minus, what is 36 minus 64? Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's try to hit equal. Negative 28. 16. Now, um, I mean, this is a good, like, basically, if you leave your answer here, your teacher knows you know how to substitute into the quadratic formula. You know your order of operations. So this is, like, still a work to get down here. But if there's a negative, we want to know that you know that the square root of negative 1 is your imaginary. So we want the, we want the i. Okay, so x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus. It would be i rad 28. If you left your answer this way, it's acceptable. However, you're going to take your SATs or ACTs or you're going to take a state test. You just have to know that you should still be able to get it into a complex number. So even though if we were quizzing or testing and you gave me this, you would get 100%. Okay, so, but let's just keep going because say you're like, well, no, let's just practice it. All right, what's rad 28? Oh, SD. It, you hit that SD to change it. 5.3. So you get negative 6 plus or minus 5.3i. That's your imaginary. And now you have 16. And now you want to break up that one fraction into two separate. You want your real component and you want your imaginary component. So what is negative 6? divided by 16, I get negative 0 0.4. We'll just go to the tenth. Okay, so that gives me negative 0 0.4 plus or minus, and what's 5.3 divided by 16? Oops. 0.3. 0.3i. And so this is that complex number. So you should be able to take it down. All you do is you basically take this, give it to me as a decimal, take this, give it to me as a decimal. I mean, you look, as you, as you get very comfortable with it, many of you would go from here straight to here 
and you would just take the ratio of radical 28, 16, and there is my 0 0.3. So I get the same one. So you can leap from here to here. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. But once you give me the I, you're, it's perfect. If you want to take it down to the complex number, a plus bi, that's awesome. Um, it's just another way of writing it. Oh no, but this is it, this one is part of the radical, the twenty-eight. So, I think this is what you're referring to. Let me see. So this negative twenty-eight, right, came from this subtraction. So that negative twenty-eight is now that I with the twenty-eight. So these are still together. Okay, if I pause the recording, it's, it clean slates it back to the beginning, but then once it uploads, it will <coughs> But can I stop it, or how far away are you from recording? I mean, uh, right, you're good? Okay, so it'll, it'll come back up.